Hello, good morning everyone. How are you today? Today is Wednesday um, and today we're doing science. Yay! So um, we're doing two experiments today. Um, one of them I did it yesterday and the other one Miss Deli did it. So I'm going to tell you what we did, what we need and why we, we made those experiments. So the first experiment it was, both of them are super cool. I have to tell you that. Both of them are super cool. So the first experiment is about non-Newtonian water, non-Newtonian liquids. So you may have heard the name Isaac Newton. If you haven't, it's okay. Isaac Newton, it's a scientist well, was a scientist a long time ago. He was born in the 1600s. So that's more than 400 years ago, okay? So by the time he existed, he lived, he was very famous. He still is because he created a lot of the laws that we have right now. Um, math, 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 mathematical laws, physics laws, um, he even made up, he was the one that found out that colors, the rainbow colors are involved in the white color. And he, there's even a story about him that he was sitting down one day in the park, just thinking, and then an apple fell in his head. Boom. And then he started thinking about gravity. So he is a very, very important scientist. And he's very famous. So one of his laws, one of the laws he created is the one about matter. I know that the Jaguars have been studying matter with Miss Claire. But for those who, of you who haven't, matter means the state of stuff. The state of the, of the stuff we have around us. Some of them are solid. Some of them are liquid. Some of them are gas. And Newton said that when we had liquids and we mixed them with solids, let's say water and flour, there will be a reaction and they will mix together and create a new sort of viscosity, okay? And he said that basically liquids are liquids, solids are solids, and they cannot mixed together. So this experiment it's called non-Newtonian liquid because it breaks that law. It's mixing cornstarch with water and you're going to see the result that is you're going to wonder is it liquid? Is it solid? What is it? It's very curious and I'm going to show you what happened right now. For this experiment you need cornstarch water and a vase where you can do all of this you're going to mix the flour the cornstarch with water I recommend you to do little bits of little bits because if you do too much water it won't work so just do a little bit first and start mixing when you start mixing you're going to realize at as soon as you begin of the funny texture it has it looks like it has a sort of gooiness, like slime, but then when it sets, you can see w at first it's more liquid because you just mixed it. However, when you let it set a little bit, you're going to see that even though it still moves like liquid, when you start touching it or when you start um, breaking through it, it has a solidish texture kind of like sand you break through it and it becomes liquid again and it comes together just like water but again when you're touching it it doesn't feel liquid and it doesn't feel solid you can go ahead and do what you feel, scratch it, play with it, feel the texture in it. But here you can see that it actually looks liquid when you keep touching it, when you keep doing it with um, interaction with it, it's still liquid, you can move it around. But if you let it set for a couple of seconds, 
just some seconds your hand my hand looked dry like I stopped touching it and it was already dry solid look at this if I go fast super hard it seems to be super hard like if it was frozen however if I let my hand there just still it began to sink little by little and when I took it apart I saw my handprint so it was liquid still but you saw before it saw it seemed to be very hard look at it great so the hypothesis of this experiment was that we were going to mix these ingredients and we were going to see a very funny looking um, viscosity, a very funny looking liquid, and we were going to wonder what it was, if it was liquid, if it was solid, and it happened, it truly happened. I have to tell you guys, it was super fun to play with. I did it in the morning and I kept it, kept it all day and I kept playing with it all day. <laughs> so if you want to do that go ahead and keep doing it because I know it was super fun and you could see that the more the more you touched it like it said the, um, the explanation for this was that whenever the this matter was um, received a high rate of punches or a high rate of force then the molecules in the matter would get would strong themselves would get stronger and they would like do like this and they won't allow anything to go through but if i left my hand i know you saw that part of the video if i left my hand just upon it i didn't do anything high just leave it there then my hand would sink because the molecules dissolve themselves themselves and it would be like super easy and super liquid however as time passed i let it there for two hours and i didn't touch it i didn't do anything with it and because it's so hot it got dry again so dry that it even broke it and it was cornstarch again so a little tip because we don't want your parents to freak out if something breaks in the plumber, let it set, and when it's set, put it in the trash bin, okay? Or reuse it again as another experiment. However, do not put the liquid, do not put the mix into the sink because it could get dry and it could be a little trouble for, our parents, for your parents. So just let it set and you could break it as cornstarch and put it in the bean okay it was super fun you can play with it i actually saw a video of someone who had a lot of cornstarch and made a big bin of the mix and they started running in it and whenever they ran super fast nothing would happen like they wouldn't sink however they stayed still and they sank so if you have cornstarch, do the amount you want. Maybe as, just like me, I put my hand in there. It was so, so fun. Now, the second experiment is beautiful. It's not only fun, but the result is quite mesmerizing. Um, it's also about matter. And it's about how oil and water don't get along. It's well known that if we have a cup of water and we pour oil in there, they won't mix. It creates like a lava lamp. We have seen that when we're doing lava lamps. And the oil stays in one side and the water stays in the other. This experiment has a little twist on it and it's going to make rain like rainbow rain in a cup go ahead and watch the ingredients you need and all the steps for this fun experiment for this experiment you need a jar with oil and a jar with water and food coloring add some droplets of food coloring into the jar with oil as many as you want the colors that you want
this point you're going to need to stir and mix it so you can see the amount of food coloring molecules you can see. If you feel that there are not enough, you can add some more. They won't mix because remember, food coloring is liquid with, wa with water and water and oil are resistant to each other. So you can add as many molecules of food coloring as you want. At first they look big. When you stir, they break down into little particles. This is the fun part. When you feel you've had enough of food coloring in the oil, you're going to stop stirring and you're going to pour down the mix into the jar with water. Now look at what happens. Did you see that? It was amazing. I loved it. This was it. This was the experiment that Miss Deli did with Jahan and Jane. And I know that they did an amazing job when they sent me this video and I saw the result. It was wow, super cool. Because the hypothesis of this experiment was that if oil won't accept the food coloring because food coloring is liquid, so the molecules of food coloring would mix with the molecules of oil and then mix with the water and because the water reaches, touches the food coloring, coloring, the food coloring would pour down into the water and become like rain. So yay! It was super amazing. And I hope you guys have some of these ingredients so that you could do at least one of these experiments. And if you don't, you can also look for another experiment you can do at home and show us what you did. Tell us your hypotheses and if it was accurate or if it wasn't. Remember, science can be sometimes, the experiments can be correct. We can have a good hypothesis or sometimes it won't work and we have to fix what's wrong until we have a good result. Okay? Have fun, take pictures or record some videos if you do a 
um, these activities or the ones you do. And let us know how it went. See you.